An oil tanker that collided with a freight ship off the east coast of China was still on fire Monday and at risk of exploding. Chinese authorities. Shanghai's Maritime Bureau says there is a continuing risk of explosion and sinking of an oil tanker that collided with a freighter off China's east coast Saturday night. Meanwhile, the search and rescue mission is ongoing for 31 missing tanker crew members. The country's Ministry of Transport says one body has been recovered so far. The tanker was carrying 136,000 tonnes of oil when the accident happened. No word on the cause yet in terms of how these two ships uh, managed to collide Saturday night. This was an Iranian oil tanker and a Chinese grain ship uh, colliding. Of course, the immediate concern was for those missing crew members. 32 crew members from that Iranian oil tanker were missing, uh, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs here in uh, China confirming that one body has been found so far. The immediate concern is going to be the search and re uh, the search operations for those 31 uh, sailors, those crewmen uh, that still are missing at this point. Uh, a difficult task, uh, given uh, that there is a fire on board that tanker that's uh, spraying a lot of smoke up into the air. These are very cold waters uh, where these two ships collided, and so the uh, rescuers certainly have a very difficult mission ahead of them trying to find uh, those missing crewmen. If that's the immediate concern, though, the flip side of that will be the potential environmental impact. I mentioned that fire on board the Iranian tanker. We're not sure the status of that fire at this point, but what Chinese officials have said is there is a concern that as a result of that fire, there could be an explosion, and as a result of the explosion, the tanker itself could sink. We know that some of the oil on board has already leaked into the surrounding waters. We're not sure how much at this point, but of course if there is an explosion and a subsequent sinking of that vessel, that could make that environmental situation even more, more uh, treacherous. That's compounded by the fact that the kind of oil that is on board this ship is an ultra-light crude oil, and that is the kind of oil uh, that is, is colorless. It's not the kind of heavy crude oil that you would think of with your more traditional uh, 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 oil spill out in seas like this, and it makes containing that kind of a spill that much more difficult. We're not there yet. As far as we know, there hasn't been an explosion on board. The ship is still floating at this point, but that is the concern for officials moving forward, the remaining crew that are missing, and the potential environmental catastrophe uh, that could occur.